Alright guys, this is just a random little rambling from me where I am lamenting about why is implementing multiplayer into Arx Fatalis is a bit of a big deal or like full of issues. First we need to get to a nice little position in the game where we have some enemies we can confront with and what more can you wish for when needing some enemies than a castle full of ilseds. <sighs> yeah, we have time, yeah. Okay. I said more like it. Oh, that's it. There goes my little secret ambushing. Are they after me? Quickly need to go to level 8 and you guessed it, we're gonna do some little cheating. Just to illustrate some points. Probably the save file is as corrupt as it can be because I used wall clipping just to get to get to the plot a bit further. without actually having to play the game. Alright, so if you know the game, you probably already know this. Uh, at, in, at this part of the game, you are free to use magic all the... as much as you want. But beyond this point, as this note tells you, uh, you cannot use any magic. So if I... let's use any other magic which is less noisy. <clears throat> and there is a trigger somewhere over here which turns your magic on and off. Since I'm using Oxlibet at this 1.2, I should be able to find that. And here it is. Magic. No magic. So it's a two-way door. If you step on this, then magic will get turned on. And if you step on this, then magic will turn off. Meaning, if you step on this and you manage to wall clip all around this, then magic will not get turned on. Let's do that. So, just to prove my state. Sorry. Not having magic. Turning it back on. You're good to go. And it's turned off again. And yes, we're gonna no clip the hell out of it. And yes, if you want to enter the bunker, the dwarf's place, with magic, then you just need to go, th uh, go around this marker, or whatever this is. Okay, should be good now. We don't have magic. Now to go back to the castle, and I will illustrate my point. Come on. Right. As you can see, no magic. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <sighs> I can't get used to walking on normal pace. I am so addicted to running around with speed. Just need horses or something like that. Well, what do you know? I actually made that jump without swimming in lava. Alright, so on enter, play ambience, ambient cave lava. Okay, so this triggers the change of ambience, uh, ambient music. Uh, City of Ox and the Human Kingdom. So we are probably very much fucked compared to fighting with Ilseds, since they are spellcasters. At least when it comes to speeding up. Right? <clears throat> Watch this guy. Oh, what happened there? 
Ooh, can't cast spells, can't you? As you can see, normally this change in the player state would only affect... Excuse me, Mr. Shiga, can you please tone your voice down? I'm trying to explain stuff here. So the player has stats or... Uh, the player has internal state from which which a uh, point is uh, the possibility of being able to cast spells but it turns out that this state is not restricted to the player instead every creature in the game is affected by it so in order to Make multiplayer happen, we have to have separate state for each of the entities of the game, or at least whatever is loaded to the map. But at the moment, a lot of these little tweaks or settings for the player are actually controlled globally. So if it's no magic for, for the player, then it's no magic for everyone. The same situation goes where the where you go to destroy the Colt stone, Colt stone, and there is probably a magic no magic. Uh, oh, great, more company. So the same goes for the temple where you destroy the meteor. All right, I guess this is it. Thanks for checking out this lovely little short video of me probably not explaining anything properly but just to illustrate some issues in implementing multiplayer in Arx Fatalis. On the other hand I will create a video in the near future on how the multiplayer in Dark Messiah looks like which is something which would have been implemented for Ox Fatalis too, uh, based on the notes and the other information that you can puzzle around from uh, bits and pieces lying around the internet. And you will see that the multiplayer is not as fun as one would expect. It's not like you can cast magic in the other players' faces or solve puzzles together, so it's not cooperative multiplayer, so it, it probably would have just sucked. But we will see, we will see. Alright guys, that's it. Bye-bye.